Concrete, the most used man-made material in the world. Durable and cost-efficient, it is an ideal building material using only three ingredients, cement, water, and aggregates that are cheap and readily available. Unfortunately, cement, the key component of concrete, comprises up to 80% of the total greenhouse gas emission of concrete. Therefore, there is a need to discover and develop alternative construction materials that offer sustainability with less carbon footprint without compromising durability. We have found the solution among microorganisms. In our research project, we will generate bricks by replacing cement with bio-cement produced by bacteria. This process is more environment-friendly and, unlike cement which is produced under very high temperature and uses high energy input, can be done under room temperature. So how is this possible? Some scientists believe that bacteria have been involved in the formation of geological structures like limestone formations and karst caves for millions of years. First, the negatively charged bacterial cell walls attract positively charged ions such as calcium from their surroundings. Next, the bacteria secrete an enzyme called urease to break down urea in the environment to obtain energy. The breakdown of urea makes the environment alkaline while producing carbonates. The alkaline environment will favor the precipitation of calcium carbonate which then acts as the biocement that will bind sand particles together. So there is an alternative to cement after all. And this activity is performed by bacteria through biomineralization, specifically called MICP or microbially induced calcite precipitation. This activity naturally occurs in nature, but over millions of years, we will try to harness this process and produce bacterial bricks in a very short time. It is best to isolate bacteria from a good source such as the limestone caves of Karamoan. Samples of sediment, water, and stone will be gathered and microorganisms growing on them will be cultured. We will be looking for characteristics that will make them favorable to use in bacterial mix production. Some of these desirable characteristics include the ability to secrete urease enzyme, the ability to survive harsh conditions such as high alkalinity, and the ability to latch on and grow on surfaces of aggregates such as sand. Our project is also beyond just making bricks. We will also be one of the first studies on bacterial diversity of cave deposits of Karamoan caves. Cost efficiency and use of local materials are also our focus. To keep costs down in bacterial brick production, we will use cheap alternative media formulated from common agricultural and industrial materials and byproducts. We will also test the feasibility of using ag lime used in agriculture and waste such as eggshells and crab shells as sources of calcium to create the biocement. How do we know that our process is achievable? We have already produced prototype bacterial bricks with strength comparable to sand blocks containing 15% cement. Our aim is to produce bricks that will be initially applied as architectural stones and pavers comparable to conventional counterparts. We will test our prototype bricks for compressive strength, fire and salt resistance, and water absorption. Hopefully, they will pass industry standards so that they can be used as alternatives to bricks. Looking forward, this technology can also be applied to crack repair, recycling and improvement of cementitious materials, creation of self-healing concrete, dust suppression, restoration of limestone structures, and bioremediation of heavy metals. The applications of MICP 
and in general microbiology to the construction sector are endless.